Hey everybody, today we're going to be checking out Taja. It's a YouTube optimization software, and it just so happens to be on AppSumo. So we're going to check that out. This lets you optimize a YouTube video in under three minutes, which is kind of nice, especially for somebody like me who is a YouTuber, but kind of sucks at all the YouTube stuff. So <laughs> it has potential to help me out a lot. Now, it is a pretty simple software, and I'm going to show you the back end here in a second. I did actually fully stack this one, so I'll be able to show you pretty much everything. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to add a video that I've done, and it's going to kind of pull in all the data and give me titles to use, descriptions to use. It even gives you chapters in the description, which is pretty cool because I like to put chapters in my videos. It also gives you YouTube tags, which I'm not so sure it has a whole lot of benefit these days with YouTube. And it does create AI generated thumbnails. They're cool, but I'm not sure I would ever use them personally. Now you do have uh, channel analytics as well. I don't think I've been using this long enough to actually take advantage of that. So I might not be able to show this off yet, but I'm going to start using this over the next couple of weeks as I get back into doing YouTube. It's been a while, so we'll see what kind of impact it does on things like getting the, the videos ranked for keywords in the search, maybe for click rate optimization, stuff like that. Because as of right now, the click-through rate on my videos is really low because I'm not very good at thumbnails. I'm not very good at titles. I don't like to jazz it up. I don't like to clickbait people. So I have a feeling this is going to change that. So we'll see. But let's jump over to AppSumo. This is where it is. Fair warning, this is kind of an expensive software. So let's just skip all the way down to the plans because that's really all that matters. There are two main issues I have with Taja so far. First of all is all future night plan updates. So you don't get the king plan and stuff like that. And I'll show you those in a second when we go to the actual website. So the, the first plan is basically unusable for most YouTubers. Most YouTubers put out more than four videos a month, unless you're me. Plan two, you only get eight. So it is on the expensive side. Plan three is 12, which is probably good for most YouTubers. Or you could do the unlimited plan, which is the one I did because I like to play around with stuff. I don't like to have to worry about limits. That's just something that I don't like. It does get pretty phenomenal reviews. You're at four and a half tacos out of a little over four and a half, actually, with 58 reviews. That's pretty good as far as AppSumo goes. And this does optimize shorts as well. I don't do shorts on this channel, so we won't be showing that off, but I did do some optimizations on shorts for another channel I have. I'm not sure if it's actually helping or not, but I, I did do a couple. So we'll get that analytics here in a couple of weeks, see if it's actually helping. So let's jump over to the website. You got the pricing here. So the night plan, which is what we're tied to, this is the tier one is $19 per month. I feel like that's very expensive as far as YouTube optimization softwares go. Other softwares like vidIQ and TubeBuddy, they don't quite do what this does, but they kind of do at the same time. Now, this is what I'm talking about. You don't get the higher tier, even though this is technically the same as, so the queen is tier three and the night plan is tier four. It doesn't say that on here. There could be a red flag there with the whole getting the updates correctly and all that. So far, they're exactly the same. Just the only difference between the tiers is the limits. So let's just jump into the dashboard because that's what everybody's here for anyways. Here's Taja. I did do three videos. We'll see the results of them over the next couple of months. You can manage your channels here. Obviously, it's just my channel right now. So we'll do this one first. This is the Blogify review I did a couple of months ago. So I wanted to optimize it for a Blogify review. I didn't know what else to put there. You can put other contexts as well. I haven't played around with this enough yet, so we'll see how that changes over the next couple of weeks. I did go ahead and do the adjustments it suggested, and it gives titles. It gives options of titles, which ones will kind of give you the best impact, which is really cool. I don't know how accurate the score is, but it's nice to have. And then it gets it lets you see it on the screen. And you can just copy. You just hit copy and then go over to the details, copy that and hit paste. It's that simple. And then the description is very flushed out. I like that a lot. It gives you the chapters right away. I went ahead and entered in the description. I didn't do the chapters because I already did the chapters manually a long time ago because uh, I do chapters on most all my videos. And then it gives you tags, which is really cool. So I just copied those, pasted those in here. That's all I did. I did generate, it doesn't automatically generate 
thumbnails for you, but I went ahead and generated some to kind of let you see, and you can generate more as well. I don't think there's a limit on there. This is what you get. And they're pretty much always the same style. You'll see that over when we go look at the other videos as well. This one here is probably my favorite, but I don't like that it's a, well, I don't like that he's got the wrong number of fingers for one, but I also don't like that it's not me. So, I mean, if you're going to do an AI generated picture, at least get it to look somewhat like me. You know, he doesn't even have a beard. Come on. So that's basically it. And you can actually scroll down here. If you hit the sync button, you do have to sync your YouTube channel with Taja. If you're comfortable with that, I went ahead and did that and tested this. Basically, all it does is it loads this up and automatically puts everything in. Whether that's good or bad, I don't know. I didn't like it because I had already done a lot of the work prior. So it kind of took away some of the work I'd already done. I went ahead and canceled that and did it all manually. But that's what that sync button does. It's pretty cool that they have that. So if you don't want to do anything, just upload the video, put it in Taja, then hit the sync button. It'll do it all for you, which is kind of cool. Right, let's go back and check out another video here. This is a video I did for Connor over at Koala. He's the owner of Koala. So I went ahead and threw this in here. It's actually an unlisted video, but I went ahead and put it in to kind of test things. It's just a Koala AI walkthrough. So that's what I tagged it as. And here's the titles it gave me. And this is actually the one that I did the sync to and I synced it up. So this is what it did. I didn't put any of this in. It put all of this in. Anyways, there's no thumbnail on this one because again, it's not a public video, but it did do a phenomenal job on the description. It went ahead and did the, the chapters for me. From what I can tell, it's fairly accurate. It's not too bad. It does have some kind of odd ones every now and again. And they did the tags. And again, all I did was scroll down here. I did generate some of the thumbnails. You'll notice they're pretty much always the same. I don't like that. It should be based off brand colors. And my brand colors are more, I would say, yellow and blue. For the most part, blue, yellow, red. I mean, I use a lot of colors in my thumbnails. I'm terrible at thumbnails, to be fair. So these are probably better than mine, but I'm, I just don't like them. I don't know. This one, this one is okay. This one sucks. This one sucks. It's, they're just too busy, in my opinion. I don't like the thumbnails. Hopefully they improve that. It'd be really cool if they could pull my face and put that into kind of Canva style thumbnails. Because that's where I make my thumbnails. I mean, they're not great, but they're usable. That's that one. And then I did the Koala Rider review as well. Went ahead and threw that in here. Again, gave a great description. I actually ended up using this description and that title. I went ahead and changed it because it's it was better than mine by quite a large margin. I didn't do the chapters because it, it did a weird one right here. Ceiling fan winner direction tips. If you watch the video, that's actually the article we wrote <laughs> inside of Koala. So it didn't quite make sense. It should say uh, article like walkthrough there or something because we kind of read through the article a little bit. And then down here, it gave me the tags. You'll notice down here, it did mess up one of them. GPT 3.5 is just put in there as GPT 35, which doesn't really make any sense. And then the generated thumbnails for this as well. The, the style is always the same. It always has the same little blast effect in the background. I don't like it. I don't like their thumbnail creation tool at all, really. It's terrible. I mean, this one's okay. Like if I were to pick of these six, I would either pick this one or this one down here. Yeah, I like mine better. Even though it's basic, it's not very eye-catching. These The other ones would probably work better. It is what it is. I like what I like. What, am I, what are you going to do? So my overall thoughts on Taja is it, it is very expensive for what it does. It's very basic. The thumbnail creation is, I mean, it's in beta for a reason. It's just not ready to put out into the world. Maybe I'll test it more on a AI YouTube channel because I got I got one I'm working on. So maybe I'll make some AI videos with Flicky, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to do an update video on that anyways. So maybe I'll test out some of the thumbnails with that. That'd be pretty cool. And we'll get some stats for you guys in the future. That being said, it's not going to be on AppSumo forever. So if you're wanting to check this out, go ahead and head over to AppSumo and check it out. It is on the expensive side. If you plan on doing a lot of YouTube like I do, you might want to get planned for 200 bucks. They're, they're all expensive. So just plan to pay some money for it. As of now, I'd rate it like a four taco rating. I'm going to keep it just because I am a YouTuber and it's useful to me. But for the average person, I probably would not recommend this. If it's something, if YouTube's just something you dabble in and you don't want to learn anything and you can just put this in and use this stuff. 
it might benefit you quite a bit. We'll see. I'm going to keep using this over the next couple of weeks to months to, uh, and see what it does. And I'll go ahead and do an update video when I get some actual analytics to show you guys. Some results from the, the adjusted videos or lack thereof in that scenario. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for this one. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.